Now, every year on the 17th of May, we observe World Hypertension Day. South Africa has one of the highest statistics in the world, with one in four adults living with the condition. Now, this morning, we're joined by Professor David Lefevre, who's representing the Heart and Stroke Foundation of South Africa. And it's very good to have you here, Prof. Thank Can you. I call you Professor David? Of course. Okay, so those are pretty shocking results. I mean, um, statistics, one in four South Africans. And, um, you know, when... when when I think about blood pressure, it's kind of hammered into us to make sure that we know what our numbers are, to make sure that we visit the doctor regularly. But is this actually getting done? Is the message hitting home? No, it's definitely not, because we're still seeing lots of people who are having problems with regard heart attacks, with regard strokes, with regard uh, problems with their kidneys and their eyes, and these are all a result of hypertension. And I think the problem with hypertension as well is that a lot of people are asymptomatic. In other words, they don't know that they have hypertension. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of people confuse high blood pressure and hypertension. What is the differences between the two and how do you know what it is that you have? No, hi hypertension is high blood pressure. Yeah. Okay. Um, essentially what happens is the vessels are diseased, the walls are thickened, the lumens are smaller, so now the heart has to work harder, has to create higher pressures yeah. to pump the blood. And that's why you get increased incidence of heart attacks and okay. the diseased vessels cause stroke yeah. and problems with the kidneys and eyes. So what should you be looking for? How, how so, do you know that it's not just, oh, I've just got high blood pressure, oh, now, no. you know, when does it get really bad? Yeah, you, you don't know. You need to go and have your blood pressure, yeah. blood pressure assessed. And as you correctly said, one in four or maybe even one in three adults at some stage have raised blood pressure. And the problem is it's a, it's a risk factor. Uh, it's with smoking, um, with high cholesterol, uh, with a genetic predisposition you're more likely now to have other problems. So it's one of the treatable causes, something that we can treat that can reduce the incidence of all these diseases you are exposed to. Now you're running a campaign which I think is actually quite amazing. It's called hashtag measure your pressure. Tell us more about that. Well, it basically it's a campaign that we are advocating that people go and have their blood pressure checked so that they are aware of whether their blood pressure is high or not. Because not all blood pressure needs to be treated with drugs straight away. Mm -hmm. There are various um, ways of modifying the way that you live that can help reduce your blood pressure and then you might not require um, a medication. But you might still require medication. It's important to know. Is this something that can maybe run in your family? So often you find that um, mom or dad or grandmother or grandfather had a hypertension and yes it can run in your family but it doesn't have to have run in your family. Yeah. If you uh, are not looking after yourself, you're not eating properly, you're not exercising properly, you might be, have high blood pressure okay. regardless of whether there was a genetic predisposition or not. So for anybody that's sitting at home right now that's realizing I have this, it's something that I haven't taken control of, what are the steps that they can take from this moment to get it under control? Well, a few things. First of all, virtually all pharmacies now have a nurse practitioner who can take your blood pressure. You can now buy blood pressure devices online for a couple of hundred rand and you can check your own blood pressure, which is not a silly thing to do. Yeah. Um, or you can go and see your GP or your day hospital. But it's something that you should have done. It's something that you definitely should have done. Dan, thank you so much, Professor David, no of course, for being with us and highlighting some of the very important things that we should be taking note of. Of course, one out of four South Africans, uh, that is way too high. And of course, uh, with a lot of people that are not testing themselves, that number could be even higher. So make sure you check your numbers and make sure that you visit your doctor regularly.